Over the last nine years, we've tested 50 plus of the best rain jackets for men. This update features 13 of the market's top contenders of 2021. Pitted against each other in rigorous side-by-side -side and real-world tests, we've identified the pros and cons of each model, what applications they are best suited for, and the best overall. In addition to wearing each under heavy downpours, snow, and sleet, we've soaked them with garden hoses and showers to assess their performance. We've taken them skiing, backpacking, and even mountaineering. After almost a decade of hands-on testing, we offer you unbiased and honest recommendations to help you get the best possible option for your needs. The first product on our list is Arcteryx Sleater SL. If we could only choose one rain jacket for a wide range of activities from backpacking or mountaineering to strolling through the farmer's market on a rainy Sunday, the Arcteryx Sleater SL would be it. Simply put, no other model can match the Zeta's across-the-board performance. In every aspect, from the hood to the hem, to its low weight and packed size, the Zeta's design is well thought out. We appreciated its ability to ward off weather, even during the stormiest of circumstances. The Zeta offers excellent articulation, however, more higher-end models are starting to offer designs with stretchier, less cumbersome feeling fabrics. This one is rigid and provides no stretch, while we never felt it inhibited our movement, we are big believers that stretchy materials provide more comfort and better performance. Fortunately, the Zeta makes up for this by offering exceptional articulation, and it scores well in all of our mobility tests. The Zeta is one of the more breathable models in our test, yet it doesn't feature any pit zips and only has a main front zipper to dump heat. For most of our testers, this isn't a big deal, however, for those who run hot or are commonly hiking in warmer rain, where this model's breathability will be reduced, something with pit zips might be better. The Zeta is our review team's favorite jacket, thanks to its overall versatility and performance. The second product in our list is Patagonia Torrent Shell 3 liters. Despite the small price bump from the older 2.5-layer version, the newest, now 3-layer Patagonia Torrent Shell offers a significant performance boost for not much more money. It performs well across a wide range of activities, with a level of stormy protection, comfort, and breathability that matches expensive options. It beats out other budget-minded rain jackets with its abrasion resistance, durability, hood design, and above-average weather protection and still maintains a respectable weight and packed volume. While you can buy a lighter model, few can match its price and capabilities. We even recommend it for activities that can be hard on your gear. While this model has a little stretch in its fabric, its mobility and freedom of movement are average. If your preferred activities require a fair bit of mobility, you could certainly purchase a less restrictive model. It is average in weight, but is still within an ounce or so of most proprietary 2.5-layer jackets that are similar in price. However, when you take into account the price, weight, breathability, and level of storm protection, its value is certainly tough to beat. The next product is Outdoor Research Helium Rain Jacket. The insanely light and compact Outdoor Research Helium Rain practically disappears in your pack. While we wouldn't call it an all-around jacket, it's more versatile than we originally gave it credit for. It's an excellent option for those folks who are likely to carry their rain jacket in their pack far more often than they wear it. As one of the lightest and most compact models in our review, it still provides adequate storm protection, while conveniently stowing away into its reversible chest pocket, and packing down to roughly the size of your fist. While minimal weight and respectable storm protection are why you buy this model, durability, breathability, and true all-around versatility aren't. For a similar price, most other shells we tested offered superior breathability and better storm protection. Also not surprisingly, this is one of the least durable models in our review, as it uses the thinnest fabrics and the tiniest zippers, meaning you need to exercise a little more care with it, depending on the terrain you are traveling in. If you know you're going to have a week of bad weather on a backcountry trip and are likely to wear your rain jacket over large portions of most days, you'll want to consider something different. However, for people who are likely to stow their shell in the bottom of their pack and only break it out for a few hours every other trip, it's hard to beat. 
The next product in our list is Outdoor Research Microgravity. A whole new wave of stretchy air permeable models has flooded the market and with so many options, it can be hard to keep track. However, even in this newly crowded sector of the market, the outdoor research microgravity still manages to stand out. No model could match its blend of durability and stormworthiness while maintaining top-tier breathability and excellent freedom of movement. The advantage of essential and other air permeable materials is the relatively high and steady level of breathability, regardless of user temperature or external environmental factors. Even when compared to several other similar air permeable options, the microgravity stands out as one of the most stormworthy, something many of the new air permeable models can't even come close to matching, as they tend to wet out much faster, while still offering a high level of breathability and freedom of movement. While this model is more than adequate for most rainy day outings or soggy multi-day adventures, you can still get a more storm-resistant model, it just won't be an air permeable one. Since it's so breathable, it isn't as comfortable for hanging out during a soggy day in camp, as it keeps breathing even when you aren't moving, which usually results in a net heat loss and the user feeling colder than if they were not wearing an air permeable model. It isn't that the microgravity doesn't offer solid weather resistance, there are just a handful of burlier models that perform even better for straight up hanging out in the rain. This model is better suited for more aerobic activities, hiking, backpacking, anything moving, where its other benefits of non-stop breathability and solid mobility are more important than absolute storm protection. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.